here from KaraWilliamsFitness.com, and this is Marissa Oxenforce from Redemption Physical Therapy, and today we are going to talk about low back pain. So low back pain, it's uh, something that is very, very common. Um, it is can be re- as a result of many things. Oftentimes, there's a core weakness that's involved, right? So the difference between the core and the six-pack abs, the six-pack abs are great for, for moving the trunk, right? The core, though, is, part, is meant to stabilize the spine. So it's meant to stiffen the spine and limit movement. So if we have a nice, tight, or a nice strong six-pack but a weak core, we're going to have back pain. So that is one thing that we are going to address with these three exercises. These three exercises were created by a renowned spine specialist, and they have been three major exercises for years and years and years. So guys, these next three exercises are called the McGill Big Three. So the first one is going to be like a curl up. What you're going to do, one leg's going to be bent, the other leg's going to be straight. Now the hand can be behind the back, and this is for feedback. So if you notice that there's a lot of change in the pressure of your hand, you're not keeping your core tight, okay? That's just a feedback tool. From here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift that leg, and I'm just going to curl. Again, I'm not flexing my spine a lot like this. I'm curling and activating that core, and I'm going to hold this for 10 seconds. The hold is important because the core is an endurance muscle. It needs to work for long periods of time. So I'll hold that for 10 seconds, and I'll perform that maybe 8 to 10 repetitions on each leg. Make sure you're doing each version here so that you're hitting both sides of your core. All right, guys, the second exercise is the side plank. You may have heard of this before. The best way to do it is on the forearm. If you need to decrease the intensity of the side plank, you can perform it on your knees. So you'll come up on your side here. Make sure that everything's nice in line. My butt is squeezed. My core is tight. And I'm holding here. Again, this is going to be a 10 to 30 second hold, depending on your ability level. And you'll come back down. You can also make it more intense by coming up on your stacked feet, okay? Nice long body, nice tight core, 10 to 30 seconds, and then repeating that on the other side. All right, the last exercise of the McGill Big Three is the bird dog. So this one's a little more dynamic than the first two, so it promotes that dynamic stability versus just static stability. So you're going to be in all fours here, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. From here, it's opposite hand and opposite leg. So I lift my right leg or my right arm and my left leg, kicking out and holding. Holding for 10, noticing that I'm not arching or rounding or rotating my spine. So holding for 10 here and then back in, acting like there's a glass of water on my back. All right, guys, so those are three very basic but very effective core stabilization exercises. They're a great starting point, and then from there, let me help you progress those exercises. Visit redemptionphysicaltherapy.com, schedule your consult with me, and let's get you stronger.